and it just kind of reinforced to me that the sea is terrifying. It can be so unpredictable and, and take even the most confident of us without any hesitation. Tyler has been my best friend ever since we first met back in secondary school. We built our relationship around playing games together almost every single night for the last 13 years. We've played all the way through school, college, work, and just had some amazing memories formed. It was very easy to tell the world that Tyler was my best friend um, and how much he meant to me, but everyone around me knew. We bounced off each other really, really well. I first met Tyler when we started working together nearly five years ago. We clicked from the start. I knew he was a joker after he started messing with me in the first couple of weeks. He was kind, he was really kind and, and really easy to talk to. And it frustrates me that I didn't have more time to talk to him. And we've just formed such an amazing group that we've become inseparable now. There were hobbies that he had that I didn't, that he involved me in hobbies I had that I involved him in and he was more of a water person. He loved the sea, he loved to surf, he loved to get out in it. He was half fish, some might say. Um, and he was going to teach me about becoming more confident in the water and, and teach me to surf. And... I remember the last time we went surfing, we always tried to get on the same wave together. And the last time we went out, we finally did it. And I remember looking behind me and I just saw Tyler with his arms in the air and then he just rugby tackled me into the water and I just remember laughing with him for days after that. Me and Tyler and some of our friends were fishing um, a couple of days before um, and the sea was rough, we, we made comments on it on this is, this is it, this is how we all go, kind of laughing, joking about it. Um, and, you know, we were safe the whole time and, um, you know, we all had a good day's fishing and Tyler went back a couple of days later with with another friend, a couple of friends and, uh, and there was a freak wave in the same place that we were all at and he was taken and he's not been seen since. Me, Tyler and Jake were talking online the night before it happened it's the early hours of the morning, actually. And um, I got a text from Jake that day. And he hadn't been found. The owner and I was out the whole time looking for him up and down the coast and to know that there were people who knew what they were doing, who had a consistent routine, and his chances of being found tripled because of the RNLI's efforts. And but if it wasn't for the RNLI putting so many people on the line and so many volunteers arriving in their droves to help look for him, the hope that we would see him again would have never been there for any of us. Unfortunately, he never came back out of that water. Tyler always wanted to do something for charity. He was a big supporter of charities and supporting things that were close to his heart. We've decided to do a 24-hour gaming marathon to help raise money for the RNLI in Tyler's name. We're going to be playing games for 24 hours straight, having some great times, some amazing laughs, and just honouring our friend in the best way that we can. As Tyler had always wanted to do it. Um, he'd love to do it if he was still here. He definitely would have loved to watch it. Maybe he will somehow. And I know that he would be the one most keen to get behind it and drive it. And now we have to for him. Go! 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 Take every 
kind of take time in every day to think about what if because that wave could have come a couple of days before and taken five of us instead of just taking one just be careful mum just be careful he didn't mean to go in the sea so please respect the water and if you can use some life-saving equipment like life vests or anything else the sea is not to be met, messed with, and we've witnessed this firsthand. I just want to ask anybody that's thinking of fishing or surfing to make sure you use life, life saving equipment. Life jackets are so important. If we could turn back time, we would have got them. We made a mistake, and it took our best friend. Please be safe out there, people. We have lost a legend to the sea. Keep shining, Tyler.